Okay, hello everybody. Today we're going to be working into the shoulders. So working on internal, internal, external rotation. Also working on the mobility of the shoulder joint. We'll do a couple of cards. So they're meant to really work the joint in its full range of motion. Let's get started by lying flat on your back. Knees into your chest. And you can take a few rounds of breath here. Now from here, take the hand into a cactus shape. So this is already an external rotation. The shoulders want to turn out and think of hugging the shoulder blades into the floor. From here, keep the knees squeezing towards each other. Keep the knees tight. Now lower both knees towards the right without letting the left shoulder lift. Come back to center. To the left, right shoulder stays heavy back to center to the right shoulders back to center to the left and center one more round to the right and center good to the left and back to center hug the knees into your chest take both arms up hook the thumbs full stretch now circle the arms down, hug the knees into your chest. Two more like this, arms come up. And circle all the way down, see if the fingertips can stay on the floor. And knees into your chest, one, arms come up. Circle all the way down. Good, and then knees into your chest. Rolling up, downward dog. Hips up towards the ceiling, arms straight, legs straight. Now from here, come up a little bit on your heels, slightly bend the knees and push the hips up towards the ceiling. So we want the back to be flat here, the sit bones to push up towards the ceiling, arms straight. Now slide the top shoulders away from the ears, stretch and lengthen. So here you should feel the spine is really, really long side waist is lengthened hold here now step the feet one footprint distance forward and let's take the feet wide so mat width walk the right hand into the center of the mat and then left hand catch the right ankle row to underneath so this is shoulder internal rotation Left shoulder is rolling in. See if you can send your head under the right arm. Switch. Replace the right hand with the left. Right hand to left ankle. Round, twist under. So gentle internal rotation here. You should feel the shoulder blades separate and widen. Release and switch. Left hand, right ankle. and switch right hand, left ankle. And release, hands to the mat, shoulder width apart, step back, downward dog. Knees to the floor, sitting on your heels, take both arms up, swing the right arm underneath your left, eagle arms, elbows come up, top shoulders come down. So if you have tighter shoulders, you might feel there's a, a bit of a stretch in the upper, upper back. Hold here. Release both arms up. Left arm under the right, cross and twist. Elbows up, top shoulders down. Release both arms up. Take your right arm across the body left hand hooks so we're in like a very common in stretch and fitness to open up the shoulder here and then release left hand across the body right arm hooks and you draw draw the arm across the body 
Come back to center, take both arms up. Back of the hands touch. Right hand comes down behind the back. Left hand bend and catch. If you can't catch the fingertips, you can catch onto your shirt or a strap or a resistance band, whatever you have. Hug the elbows in, upper arms in. Top shoulders come down. Slowly release, both arms up. Back of the hands touch, left hand down, right hand catch. Good, slowly release, both arms up. Hands to the floor, downward dog. Knees to the floor, mat width. Big toes touch, child's pose. Now from here, you can rest the forehead heavy on the floor. And then let's take your hands towards the right. Fold over your right thigh and stretch the shoulder, stretch the arm. So your left side waist is getting longer and longer. Come back to center and then over to your left. Come back to center. Okay, stay in your child's pose here. Now, what I want you to do is form a fist with the right hand. So the thumb comes inside, four fingertips curl over the thumb. Keeping this forehead heavy, left hand heavy, keep the, left, keep the right arm straight. Now float the right wrist off the floor. And release. Two more like this, right wrist up and down. one more up and you hold now draw a big circle with the wrist with the right arm until you reach your hip pocket now when you reach your hip pocket bend the elbow and reach the fist up your spine as much as you can now straighten the arm turn the palm to face up and rotate the arm back until you reach the top of the head and release. So we're just drawing circles with the, with the, um, with the fist. Shoulder swimmers. Fist will lift off the floor. Circle back. Bend the elbow. Reach for the back of your body. Good. Elbow straight. Thumb points up to the ceiling. Palm faces out. Now circle all the way back. Continue, fist comes up. Draw a circle back. Palm is actually facing up. Reach the hand up your body. Arm straight. Palm faces down. And you rotate back. Two more. And circle. Bend the elbow, reach, and coming back. One more time, arm comes up, circle it back, bend the elbow. Now extend and rotate. Now hold at the top, hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Release, rest. Switching sides. Just going to move a little bit here. Right hand heavy. Form a fist with the left hand. Now lift the left fist off the floor. And down. Four, two. And down. Four, three. Hold here. Now circle the arm back. Bend the elbow. Reach the arm. Left arm straight. Circle back. Hold, hold, hold. And release. Four more, lift, circle back, reach the arm, arm extends all the way back, and rest. Three more. Make sure you're breathing throughout, focusing on the little details, 
last two. Good, last one. Hold the top for five, four, three, two, and rest. Stretch the arms as straight as you can. Circle both arms back, arms to the sides, child's pose here. And then slowly coming all the way up. Let's come into a kneeling position. Both arms up. Inhale. And exhale, release. Again, inhale. And exhale, release. Last one. Inhale. And exhale, release. That is it for today. Thank you for joining me on the mat.